Hello, my good people. <laughs> this is episode two, and you know, I'm gonna be pumping these out as fast as I can. Thank you guys for all the comments and everything. You've really inspired me to just get it done. <laughs> But let's carry on. Okay. So I'm looking. So last time we set up our tile map. Uh, we drew a little bit. We added layers. And we messed around with the scatter property. And we animated the water. Okay. That's great. But now I'm looking at this. And I'm like, we let's just get straight to the bread and butter. We're going to be doing terrains today. And we're going to be making this look very beautiful. Honestly, there's not a lot of resources on this. I had to fail epically when I was making my open world survival game. So I'm going to make this super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So um, first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to come to this main page with our tile set. This is before you click. Oh, actually, you have to click in to get this information. And we're going to create a terrain set. So the first terrain set is going to be, I guess, this one. It's just... We'll call it sand on water. So um, we'll name it sand on water. You might think like, okay, this is sand. I should color it yellow. Well, you, you don't want to do that because we're going to be messing with the bit mask, I think it's called. And you won't be able to see it if you match it too closely with that. So you want a color that contrasts with it. Let's just use green um, in this case and let's make it super bright. Okay, so now when we want to come in, we're going to use this uh, paint property and we're going to come here to terrains and we are going to choose our terrain set zero, which is the first one. And yeah, make sure there's match uh, corners and sides. So the first one, uh, while we have this sand on water, we first want to like activate, make sure you don't, you know, activate these other ones. So this is for three by three minimum. So I made a video on um, a little more in depth on terrains and you can see how I worked through it on my project, but we'll go over briefly. So basically we put one square here and then we'll put, we're basically following the pattern of the, the sand. Okay. Make sure, you know, you don't get out. Um, make sure it's like this. Okay. So the next pattern is like this add four squares it's, it's best to do it like this so that you don't make any mistakes then connect them see i connected it too um much there right click by the way to erase okay color it in okay and i'll go over briefly what this means Okay, color these sides in. So now it's a thick square, and then you might not be able to see it, but these are invisible there. So we want two squares. This one is full, and we want two squares here, and then we want these here. So make sure that you have this pattern down packed, or else it's really not gonna work. So let's see what this means. Okay, so you see that this is a, a solo one. So if I just click one and it's not connected on any of the sides, it'll do this one. And now if it's connected on this side, it's doing this tile and this tile because this tile is if it's only connected on the right side, but if there's nothing on the left side. And this tile is the opposite. And then if I do another one, it'll do the middle version. So yeah, these are, these are about where they're connected. So for instance, this shape is if there's no, there's a connection from the top, a connection from the side, but no connection from this corner. 
So that's when you do that shape. But then if we do a connection in the corner, it changes completely to a different one. So that's how the bit mask works. It's about looking around the tiles and seeing what bis bit masks um, exist around it. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw with these terrains. Now you could really go crazy and do the design that you want. And it's very, very simple to set up. Of course, like when you're drawing it, it's a little annoying, but don't worry, I got you covered. And now we want to do this for um, the rest of our tiles. Alrighty, so um, now we want to create a new terrain. And this is going to be, let's look at our tile set, grass on sand. So let's add another element make sure that you have two separate terrains. So um, let's name it grass on sand. And then when you come here, you'll know that there's two separate terrains because it'll be terrain set zero, terrain set one. If you accidentally added another element here, it there wouldn't be a, a new terrain set. So yeah, make sure you, you we're now into terrain set one. And we're not going to use this one for now. We're going to use this one. So it's one up. And we're going to do grass on sand. Okay. And now we're going to do the exact same pattern as we have there. Alrighty. So now that we've finished, we can paint our grass onto our sand. Oh, and also, now that we have our grass on sand, you can then come back to our tiles. Oh, let's get out of this property. Oh, let's go back to our tile map. And we can add some, uh, we could use the scatter property again and add some variation with, oops, I have the eraser. <laughs> Add some variation. You just got to be careful because if you go on the edges, it'll do that. But yeah, we can. Um, I probably want to raise the probability. <laughs> that was just for that was just a, uh, just to show you guys. Now, I, I want there to be more pretty flowers. I like the flowers. Uh, we we want to add another layer for in this environment for the trees. Because if we put it here, it'll do that, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to name this environment. Uh, so we added a new layer. And now when we come to the environment, we can add these wonderful palm trees. And yeah, starting to look good. Okay, um, now I guess we can do... Uh, we'll do two more. We'll do the dirt on grass, and then we'll do cliffs. So the same old, same old. Um, minimize that, and then add another one. Add another element. Dirt on grass. And we don't want it brown because dirt is brown. So let's make it blue. Come back here to the tile set. Paint. Terrains. Tile set two, dirt on grass, and same old, same old. And be careful here because it's very easy to um, do that by accident. Make sure you are covering all the dirt. There we go. Dirt on grass. Go back to the ground level, go to terrain. Where? Oh, this happens sometimes um, where the terrain will not load. Uh, normally, I guess what you do is you let's see if we could play the scene. OK, so when you run the scene, it'll it'll show up. So don't worry if that happens. Good Just give it a while, you know, <laughs> and now we can put some dirt on the grass. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And cool. Now let's do some beautiful cliffs. 
cliffs. So this is actually going to go on another layer. Um, so let's do that other layer. Let's come back here to layers and let's just add cliffs. And let's come back to the tile set, paint, tile set three, cliffs. We'll come down here. And we're copying that same pattern. And remember, it comes down here. So the cliffs is a little trickier. Um, but yeah, it, you need to make sure you follow this pattern. Very good because it is like, look, I'm messing up a lot here. Make sure you get it the same. So I would refer heavily to the top image because it's really hard to see with the cliffs. Almost messed up again there. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Remember there's a line there? I almost messed up. So yeah, be very careful here so that you're doing it right. Okay, there. this whole piece is missing. I'm not sure if that's a bug. We'll see later on. Um, I'm just giving it a double check, making sure everything is good. It seems okay. So let's go and draw some cliffs. It'll look weird if, um, you know, you do it like that. So keep that in mind. There we go. And we got a basic looking map. I'm going to add some more water. Let's come out here. Not too shabby. That's, that's a nice looking island if I've seen one myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how you do terrains. Not, not so bad, you know. And it it just like you add this little amount of time on setting it up and it really makes your life easier because the alternate to uh, doing this is to manually come and say, OK, I want this shape. I need to come here, you know, figure out how to make that shape, put that tile there, put that tile there put this tile there it's you know it's a lot of work and in game development you want to cut corners as often as you can so it it, it it makes a lot of sense to do this um to do it that way with terrains and yeah guys um i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed keep the comments coming because they're really motivating me i've been wanting to do this series for a long time and i'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it so Take care. I'll see you next time in episode three. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining the Patreon, where I release demo and source code for the projects behind the scenes and get early access and your name in the Godot book I'm working on. I also stream game development on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. What is the variable for X? I don't know because I'm a T-Rex. Wrong.